Pitch. Coming in, and Arias gets it over the first baseman. Let's see. Jake Berger up to bat. Arias puts two into scoring position. Can Jake Berger hit him home? Oh! A bomb into right field! Wow! The following content may be too entertaining. Viewer discretion advised. Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm back with another video. Uh, it's been a minute. Um, today I'm here on MLB The Show 24. Ignore my face cam. There was audio issues. It's not going to sync up. Um, I might just blur it out because I understand that pisses people off. It pisses me off. Um, I was looking at teams to do um, for this franchise that we're starting here. Hopefully, um, you know, the Reds franchise last year didn't go very well because I just I don't know. I didn't I didn't feel right with the moves I was making. Um, I don't know, but I really thought about the White Sox, um, thought about the Guardians, but I felt like they had too much. Tigers were probably the closest team I was to actually picking besides, of course, the Miami Marlins, who I ended up doing. Um, so yeah, our team is the Miami Marlins. Um, I don't know. There, there's one thing in this that I've done that I don't feel like people might agree with. But I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I don't know. I was. I. I guess I was just describing teams that I could have done. Um, I'll see you guys when we're looking at the squads. So here we are. Um, Tanner Scott and Yuri Perez, two great pitchers that serve two completely different roles. Yuri Perez, I didn't realize he was this good. 20 years old, 89 overall, a potential. Um, Yuri Perez is going to be uh, is going to be Cy Young contender for this entire rebuild. Um, that's always going to be a nice thing to have. Sandy Alcantara hopefully can be just good again. He's really bad last year. I believe he was injured a lot last year though. Um, playing, trying to play through injury and stuff like that. Jesus Lazardo is the guy that I like. Um, 26. He's not the youngest, but he'll be here for a while. Um, he's a good arm. AJ Puck, former bullpen pitcher, I believe, because of arm injuries and stuff. Uh, and that's led him to um, being a reliever most of his career now, but... The Marlins are trying to force him back into being a starter. I don't know if it's the brightest idea, but he looks good in real life right now. Braxton Garrett, um, he's nice. Uh, Trevor Rogers has got a potential as a 78. Yoni Torino. So you got a lot of guys down here. Um, Sandy Alcantara, I, I don't want him to come back. I believe he's going to miss the entire year. Okay, so now I have set the injury on him. There you see right there, Sandy Alcantara. Uh, he should be out for the entire year. If not, I can just extend the injury time uh, once he gets closer to being coming back. Uh, that's how the uh, lineup looks. Or Sorry, lineup rotation. Um, it's, a, it, we, it's a great pitching staff here in Miami. It's just can we hit the ball well enough to try and win something? I don't think we're going to win anything this year. Josh Bell is the first baseman. Luis Araya is the second base. He's very good. Um, this is where I make the controversial decision to bring in another piece. And that other piece is going to be Jonathan India. Um, Jonathan India is on a surplus uh, Reds infield. Um, a lot of people think he's going to DH there. I don't think he is. Um, they got a lot of outfielders to play too um i feel like he just doesn't fit with our team anymore in cincinnati i am a cincinnati reds fan that's why i say that <clears throat> um jonathan india um of course like i just said doesn't fit so we decide that we're gonna make a trade for him and the trade we ended up going up with was two prospects who although i've never heard of i'm sure that they are loved by the miami marlins system um two prospects who 
probably were never going to become stars, but you know, I mean, Jonathan India isn't a star either. So, I mean, he's not like, it's not like he's like an 80. This isn't rookie year. Jonathan India. We're talking about here. This is, this is Jonathan India coming off an injury, probably going to be a maybe above average, uh, above average bat with bad defense. You know, that's what Jonathan India is going to give me. So I don't think it's too crazy of a trade. So here I am looking at the lineup. Um, it seems like everything is as I want it versus lefties. So we're playing today, I believe, if I remember correctly, is a lefty. So, oh, well, I forgot I did that. Yeah, somehow I simmed rather than playing. I don't know what I was doing. So this is technically not opening day. This is the second game, and it's already almost over. So Jake Berger steps up to the plate. You're down by one, one person on. I believe that is, I don't know who that is, actually. I have no clue. The pitch, and it is swung on and hit into left field by Jake Berger. I don't know if he's related to Ellie, but that's a bloop, and it does go. And we are not going to send him home. I could have. I probably should have in that situation. No, I'm going to bunt. I bunt a runner in and Fortez couldn't leg it. Deletes the chance of a double play. We're going to tag up. Oh, yeah, I do remember this. The throw was offline and we won. If that throw was online, that would have been really bad, and that would have been the end of the inning. Um, but we won, and that was technically not opening day. And welcome, everyone, to opening day, in quotation marks. This is technically our third game of the year, but we're going to act like this is opening day. Jared Triolo up, AJ Puck on the mound here for opening day. <laughs> I think that's all I'm going to say. It. Opening day. <laughs> AJ Puck with the pitches. Trying to get things started out quickly here. We'll show you the full first at bat. It'll probably show you the full first inning. But I usually don't show full at bats. But there AJ Puck gets him down. AJ Puck. Um, I'm, I don't know how to do all that weird stuff. With the, the, the stick in the circle and the... The moving it around to the different spots. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't I, I'm not. I'm not good enough for that. All that double play ends the inning. Team's opening game has ever been on a Saturday. That one rocketed past the pitcher and past the second baseman. Tim Anderson gets on just like that. Martin Perez, the pitcher today. The lefty wheeling and dealing up there. Jonathan India batting second, and that's going to be a double play. Turn on to first. And that one's belted into the outfield, but it's going to be caught easily for the out. Full count for Puck. And he's going to walk him. I think he could have caught it if he would have tried a little harder. De La Cruz, though. Ranging over to that one, going to get it. The throw into first. Josh Bell fields it. Holding the runner back at first. Two outs. A.J. Puck trying to get a th his third. That one's going right by uh, Tim Anderson. I don't know what he was doing. And Jazz Chisholm can't grab the ball. Maybe he was trying to get him to run even. Maybe was trying to fake him out a little bit, but that's not going to be good. Pitch hit deep to Victor Mesa, who's going to get underneath it and end the inning. Scoreless inning for Pittsburgh, leaving, I believe, two on. Pretty sure there's a Victor Victor Mesa Jr. as well. Jake Berger hits one right up the third base line for his first hit of the day. Jake Berger. What a weird name. Jake Berger looking good in the red and white up to bat de la cruz hits one and it's bobbled a little bit they get the play at two but not the play at one 
I think if Berger was a little faster, he could have legged both. But instead, here we go. And that one's hit hard by Fortes. Does it drop? It does. That might be a score. Nick Fortes with an RBI double. T is a RBI double. And that one, Josh Bell lines right at the first baseman. And in Jazz Chisholm now. And he does the same. Lines him right at the first baseman to end the inning. One out here after Henry Davis popped out. Can we get another th quick third out here? Swing and a miss by McCutcheon. And that one lined up. That's his second hit on the day, Andrew McCutcheon. As he gets one in there on Brian Reynolds. And Brian Reynolds pops one, but Victor Mesa going to... Fly on over to that one. Victor Mesa Jr. makes the play. Now up to bat, Victor Mesa. Look at him out there again. Batting 333 to start the game, start the year. And what was I swinging at? Um, that's just my fair assessment. Tim Anderson, and that one does have a chance to be fair, and it is fair. Tim Anderson gets on base. And now Jonathan India gonna try and size up this pitch. And that's going to be a possible double play. No, they don't get Indy at first. Did they get Anderson at second? Wow. It looks like they did get him. Tim Anderson did not get there. Pitch coming in. And Arias gets it over the first baseman. Let's see. Jake Berger up to bat. Arias puts two into scoring position. Can Jake Berger hit him home? Oh, a bomb into right field. Wow. Jake Berger, 398, 105 off the bat. That was a scorcher. Two outs for De La Cruz. Not expecting him to do much. Jake Berger already made the inning. And De La Cruz just going to ground out to the third baseman to end the inning. Michael A. Taylor flies out. Now key Brian Hayes up to bat. He hits it right to Josh Bell, and that is a familiar sight. Josh Bell getting a line drive right to him. In fact, he line drive to his, the other team's first baseman. Connor Joe now as A.J. Puck looks the end of the inning, and he does. Sits him down. A 1-2-3 inning for A.J. Puck. He's looking good. Ground ball, and it is going to be an out for Nick Fortes. Next pitch, a bit of a better look, and Josh Bell says goodbye. A little bit of a more contained reaction to this one. Josh Bell with a solo shot, 430 feet. People in, but I got a better velocity and distance, and Jazz Chisholm! Oh, I thought that one was gone. Chisholm hold up at first. They should make him auto run. And Chisholm's going to send it. Strike two on the two and one count. And Chisholm is safe. Away from the double play ball chance. And that's going to be a ground out for Victor Mesa. Tim Anderson, not the best person for this position. Going to try and bunt. Just doesn't get it where I want it. I've had it work a lot of times. It's just when it doesn't work, it's kind of depressing. But with a master class here. Never mind. No, I'm kidding. That's It's another hit, but Henry Davis now up to bat. He's going to swing through it, and that's going to be a strikeout. Thought the runner was going for a second, I guess. I, I didn't actually think the runner was going. Victor Mesa, get back to it. Throwing it in. The runner advancing to second. Should have thrown to the cutoff. McCutcheon with a chance to draw first Pittsburgh blood. But instead, it's going to be a fly out to Jazz Chisholm to end the inning. And back-to-back -back ground outs for India and Arias leave Jake Berger with two outs already. That one going to go down the third baseline and smack off the bag. That's going to get him on. Jake Berger getting a little bit of luck there. Brian De La Cruz now up. Swung on down the third baseline. Another fair hit. Berger going to look to advance to three, and he gets back to second safe. That was close. And Nick Fortes, ground ball. That is going to end the inning. 2-2 two -two count to Michael A. Taylor. 
Swung on and drove into center field. That's going to be a base hit for Michael A. Taylor. Weak contact for Key Brian A's. Josh Bell can't get it. Flip the puck who barely gets it on. Connor Joe now. Puck trying to end the inning. Sitting. Connor Joe down possibly. Last pitch. No. He wants another opening day. K. And he got it. Controversial call, but he got it. Josh Bell fly out leads Jazz Chisholm up here in the sixth. Chisholm. Bam! That one's looking back deep, probably warning track. Wait, no! That's gone! I did not think that was a home run as he Euro steps into the home plate area. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Anderson fly ball. As it looks like him and Victor Mesa Jr. fly out to end the inning. Rowdy Telez after one out up to bat and that one's hit! Pass Victor Mesa. Chisholm trying to run over to it. And Rowdy Telez gets a stand-up double, maybe even a triple. No, they got him. What a play. And with two outs in the inning, Puck is going to be sat down. They're not going to let him finish the inning. Sixto Sanchez comes out of the bullpen. Former starter. I really don't know what happened to him. Sixto gets out the inning. Jonathan India now. Bam. Wax one deep. That's going to get caught probably. No, it gets down. India in for a double. That one, Jake Berger gets it past the second baseman. And India is going to go home. Showing his value already. Is this going to be an MVP candidate this year if he plays like this? De La Cruz now up to bat. One out. De La Cruz with a slam into left. And it gets down. Berger home, De La Cruz on to second. Fleming, the new pitcher. Nick Fortes, the batter, and that one's lined right up to the second, or the shortstop, so rather. And Josh Bell going to ground right up to the second baseman. Turns around, and it was a little close, but not really. Deep into this at bat. Finally, Sixto Sanchez gets him down. Dude, that was probably like, like over 15 pitches. Andrew McCutcheon now up. And that one's going to be lined up the middle for a single. Brian Reynolds now. And this one, oh my, hit hard into right field off the wall. Victor Mesa trying to play it off the wall. They're going to go home. And they're going to get there. Throw was close, but not in time. Maybe put too much faith in Sixto. And another hit. Victor Mesa struggling to get over to another one as a runner advances to home once again. Okay, let's calm down. Wow. De La Cruz can't grab it either. Chisholm gets a hold of it, holds the runner at second. He probably could have went. I do not want Sixto out here much longer. Connor Joe now up to bat. Oh, my. That's a home run. It is now 5-8. to eight. Sixto Sanchez now just trying to hold the inning. And he gets him down. Full count. Sixto trying to just finish the inning. Can he do it? And he sits Rowdy Telez down. Chisholm now. Offense has got a little bit of a less fluffy lead here. Oh, that's fair. Chisholm starting out the bottom of, or you know, the bottom of the eighth right. Trying to see if Victor Mesa can leg this bunt. He misses, and he gets there anyway. And now Victor Mesa up the mound into center. That's going to be an RBI single for Victor Mesa. Tanner Scott called in on his day off. He's got a four-run lead. I don't think it's going to be a very hard job for him. And, oh, I don't like this. He walks his first batter. Leading to the top of the order. You never want to walk the ninth in the order unless you've got a double play in your back pocket. Foul ball leads to a 2-2 count. Tanner Scott. McCutcheon going to fight it off. Tanner Scott looking to end the game. That's going to be a ball. And they're going to run on it. Fortez's throw isn't there. That guy rid of the double play chances. Throw or pitch to McCutcheon is hit deep. De La Cruz gets right under it, though. They're not going to go for third. They 
probably would have got it had they gone. Tanner Scott now. 2-2 two -two with two down. Brian Reynolds fouls one off. This to end the game. Controversial call. Controversial. Wow. I do not think that was a strike as a baseball fan. But as a Marlins fan, I think that got the middle of the damn plate. Jazz Chisholm wins player of the game. I think it should have been uh, Jake Berger. Four for four, a home run with four RBIs. What did Jake or what did Jazz Chisholm do that Jake Berger didn't? You look at that, there's nothing. But that is going to do it for the three game series. Oh, never mind. It's a four game series, so we're gonna sim the rest. And here go the stats. Um, for some of our players, Jesus Lazardo looking good. AJ Puck, Braxton Garrett looking all right. Trevor Rogers looking nice. And uh, whoa, 16 ERA for Ryan Weathers. That's crazy. That's insane. That might be the whoop. Never mind. Did that just say 27? Oh, that makes Sixto Sanchez look look good. Tanner Scott starting out all right. But, man. This team, Nick Fortes, he bad and okay. Josh Bell looking nice. Luis Arias off to a horrible start. India off to a 238 start. You won Rookie of the Year in 2021. I'm trying to figure out what that crown is. I now know what it means. It means that you lead a stat. Yeah, so India led doubles. Um, and then I think Jake Berger also leads some kind of stat. Um, maybe, oh, probably batting average at 500. Yeah. Jake Berger. Looking nice out there. Uh... Yeah, this team's got a lot of potential to do something. Um, I don't know, though. Um, Jonathan India, do you guys like the trade, yes or no? I think it's a good trade. I think it makes sense. It maybe doesn't make sense that the Marlins do the trade for him, but it makes sense that the Reds trade him. So, here are the stat leaders. Yeah, it was Jake Berger with batting average. Dale Cruz it up there, too. We got the top two right now. Chris Bryant, that's completely random being up there that is the other league AJ um, Berger also up there in whatever that was I, I didn't get to see Jonathan in the leads in doubles as we talked about Jorge Soler in triples please leave your thoughts on the Jonathan India trade down below and also please like comment and subscribe or else I will hunt down your family <laughs>